A change of mind provokes a change of life's season. Your season changes when your senses change. Welcome to Apostle TV. The message you're about to watch will definitely transform your life. Be blessed as you watch. In the year of 2007, we were at the Abuja Stadium, July 2007. July 2007, massive crusade. Fill the place, and then we're there again in August. We're there, that's 13 years ago. We're there again in August and September. Twice the rain fell on us. And then at that time, the government of that time said they won't give the place or the authority said they won't give the place to use again for church. And there and then I announced to the people, I said, we are going to build the equivalent of our own stadium. And in this case, the rain will not fall on us there because we'll have a roof. And we'll build what is bigger than that stadium. That was what the mind said. That was what the thought said. And in a short while, it became a reality. Somebody here, what God will speak to you and what will cross your mind from here will soon become your reality. Very, very quickly in the next few minutes, what is the impact of the mind on life? On life? The impact of the mind, number one. I've said many of them already. The state of the mind defines the state of life. The state of the mind defines the state of life. The Bible said, as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. The state of the mind defines the state of life. Mentality defines reality. Number two, the state of the mind defines the state of life. Mentality defines reality. Number two, the renewal of the mind equals the upgrade of life. He said, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Romans chapter 12, verse 1 to 2, be transformed. The renewal of the mind equals the upgrade of life. The renewal of the mind equals the transformation of life. Equals the upgrade of life. Number three. A change of mind provokes a change of life's season. Your season changes when your senses change. A change of mind provokes a change of life's season. I'm, not, I'm sure I'm not too fast like pastor. Uh, should I be, be faster? All right. All right, again, number one, the state of the mind defines the state of life. Mentality defines reality. Proverbs 23, 7. As he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Number two, the renewal of the mind equals the upgrade of life. When the mind is renewed, life is upgraded. According to Romans chapter 12, verse 1 to 2. The renewal of the mind equals the upgrade of life. Can go ahead. Number three, a change of mind provokes a change of life season. A change of mind, your season changes when your senses change. A change of mind provokes a change of life season. The prodigal son came to himself and he began to think that changed his season. A change of mind provokes a change of life season. Luke chapter 15, verse 17 to 18. Number four, very important. God hears and responds to thoughts like he hears and responds to prayer. Ooh. God hears and responds to thoughts like he hears and responds to prayer. Why do I say so? Ephesians 3.20 Unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly Above not just what you ask, but also what you think. So he's hearing your asking. He's also hearing your thinking. He's hearing your asking. He's hearing your thinking. He can answer your asking. He can answer your thinking. That is why the Bible said, while they, were, they are yet speaking, before they open their mouth, I will hear. And before they call, Isaiah chapter 65 verse 24. They have not spoken yet. I saw their mind. I saw their heart. I read it from their heart and I answered them. There is somebody here. I believe that God is about to hear even the communications of your mind. That is why you must guard your heart with all diligence so that God will not be hearing rubbish from the heart. Number four, number five. 
The mind affects access to God's voice. While Peter taught on the vision, the Spirit of God said, Acts 10, 19, it affects access to the voice of God. As Peter taught on the vision, the Holy Ghost said, Matthew 1 20, as Joseph was thinking of these things, while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared. So, there is a way God visits you based on what is going on in your mind. There is a way God speaks to you based on the communi- what your mind is on per time. Number six, the mind determines the acts and possibilities of God. The acts and possibilities of God. He's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or imagine. The acts and possibilities of God. Philemon chapter 1 verse 14. He said, without your mind, will I do nothing? Without your mind. So God needs the cooperation of your mind to do mega things in your life. Did you hear what I just said? God used the cooperation of, he needs the cooperation of your mind to do mega things in your life. And number seven, the mind determines the stability of life. A stable mind is a stable life. It it doesn't matter the storm. It doesn't matter what is going on around the world. If your mind is stable, your life is stable. Job chapter 23 and in verse 13. Job 23 and in verse 13. He said, but he is in one mind and who can turn him? He is in one mind. His mind is is concrete and solid. What kind of holocaust can turn him? What kind of pestilence can turn him? I announce to you today, when men say they are cast down in this season, you shall be saying there is a lifting up. Shout the loudest, amen. If you would like to give your life to Jesus, or you have given your life to Jesus before, but something happened and you took it back, Can I give you an opportunity to return to Jesus? The truth is that if you are not in Christ, you are in crisis. Why not pray this simple prayer with me? Lord Jesus, thank you for sending me your word. I return to you today. I acknowledge you as my Lord and my Savior. I surrender to you. From today, write my name in the book of life and cleanse my name from the book of death. Give me grace to serve you and to follow you all the days of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen.